want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. Hey guys, welcome back to the Zero to Hero series. This is levels 80 through 84. And real quick about the intro, I hope you guys do like it. If so, let me know in the comments. I'm going to probably keep it for as long as this Luke Skywalker shenanigans are going around. And if you're watching this in the future, future people, Luke Skywalker was introduced around this time, late July, early August 2017. So I made that just for the seasonal intro and it, it was cool anyway so let leave your thoughts below now we are going right into levels 80 through 84 you're going to be receiving omegas every day that is awesome you get to start upgrading different abilities such as biggs is comrade in arms where he can use his special and call wedge and another ally to assist and it only has a two turn cooldown which means he can rapidly just use that that comrade in arms just boom 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 triple polywop bunch of bunch of enemies for sure and another really neat omega is lando's aoe gives 25 percent more bonus damage which is huge for knocking down people in galactic war etc etc so that's going to be really really helpful for you guys qui-gon jinn's omega on is basic where you can remove her meter it's pretty neat it helps with the rancor rate for sure and you know, even such things like the Yoda Ben. So, what's going to be going on in levels 80 through 84 is you're going to get through these events, these legendary events like Emperor Palpatine, and maybe, maybe eventually Yoda. But the main one you want to get through is unlocking Emperor Palpatine. You're going to unlock Emperor Palpatine at five star, and that will really, really help you with the potency mod challenge, getting your Darth Vader five star, which will probably get through the achievements. Hopefully, you'll have Tie Fighter Pilot five star at least. Just for the Rancor Raid and whatnot, getting that tenacity down is key. And then Grand Moff Tarkin, Royal Guard, who you know, whoever you're feeling from the Empire, then from the dark side, that'll help you a lot for your potency mod challenges, so you can do more damage on the Rancor. The game begins to get more awesome because you can develop your time and grind to get certain gear for a gear 10 to 11 character. That's really neat. Zetas are unlocked in the Fleet Arena Store at level 80. But I highly recommend not to farm them and instead farm gear in certain characters you may require at the moment. For example, if you need Ezra for the Emperor Palpatine event, you can farm Ezra. And at the same time, Ezra is also good for the Jedi event. You could say the same for Kanan Jarrus or whoever. You know, if you need Cheru Imwe, go for Cheru Imwe out of the fleet shipments. Uh, that, that's, a, that's key. So just use your fleet currency wisely. I, I have the link for my video below in the description, so check that out. Ships is a big deal because you get stuff faster if you rank higher. They give out more currency if you're ranked number one. Good morning, Captain Obvious. So what you guys want to do is get more fleet currency every day so you can buy more shipments every day, buy more gear, buy more of whatever you need in order to be successful. That is another big part of the game. That being said, another huge part of the game is mods still. Mods, though there's a lot of skepticism mods are extremely important especially the critical damage mods as you will be running most likely a rebels team that is based on crits so if you have critical damage mods those mods will allow you to hit hard that's that's a, that's essential to the rebel team you're gonna need critical damage mods which means you're gonna have to farm some jawas you can farm dacha out of the galactic war around this time if that's okay with you you can farm jawa scavenger out of the cantina shipments there's lots of places to farm these guys, but you probably want to start paying attention to this as your team develops so you can get them to the next level. There is another way to do this. You can buy them through the mod shipments, but I don't recommend this as you won't have the necessary characters, let's say, like Jaw Engineer. You might need Jaw Engineer later on for the Phase 2 Brook AAT droid team that you're building slowly as time goes on so you can get in a Brook AAT guild. So definitely take the the farming the Jawas just for the critical damage bond challenges as that will help you out quite a bit. By level 84 you should have the potency mod challenge complete. You should also have the critical chance, the health, maybe the critical damage, and tenacity as tena in order to unlock tenacity mods and rebels. That's that's a big accomplishment guys. I mean it takes a lot of time to level up I know 
and it's a pain, especially when you're at like 80 through 83 and you're just like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? I'm not even close. But if you just keep going through, you keep pushing yourself and, and, and the grind continues, you'll, you'll make it, trust me. If you are into the Yoda event or into Jedi or whatever, I don't really recommend it at the moment, but you want to have a 7 star Qui-Gon Jinn, a Jedi Consular that's at least 5 stars, Ahsoka that's at least 5 stars, just because they're good ships, they're, they're neat and they're useful for you. You can also farm Luminar, I'm a Gundai, or Anakin, or Kanan, Kanan Jarrus, or whoever you feel like out of their respective areas, and that way you can unlock Yoda. Though I do have to mention that the defense mods are pretty worthless, and honestly, Yoda isn't that versatile unless he's on a Jedi Knight or Jedi team with Bio Engine Zeta later on. So, guys, that is critical. What's also nice about this is you'll be able to do many events, such as the marquee events, where you actually get to fully unlock everything like everybody else. And the last thing that is critical from AD34, I mentioned a little bit earlier when I mentioned Zetas. Keeping that fleet arena rank up. Remember that Captain Obvious little input thing. You guys got to keep that up for real. The way you do this is very simple. You need Boba Fett and you need Slave One for sure. Those are two prerequisites. You also will slowly be in chip away and unlock Darth Vader and his Tie Advanced, which is a very good chip as it can automatically target lock. A hundred percent chance. Really, really great ship. No doubt about that. And the setup here is kind of described in the video uh, below. Also, the time card is up there, so make sure you guys check that out and so you get an end game goal of ships. Obviously, I'm using Akbar, but you guys probably want to end up with a Gram off Tarkin. So, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope it's been really informative. If it has been, make sure to drop a like, let me know, give me some feedback so I can either make my videos better or just keep on doing what I'm doing. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I will see you on in the next one. Peace out.